Well, I'm getting my spacesuit on. I want to be the first explorer to walk on the moon. <gasps> the first? Gorby? Yeah, I'm never first at anything. This will be my first, first ever. That deserves a glow stick. Maybe two. How well can you twirl? But, but Gorby, um, something wrong, Chester? Yeah? Gorby won't be the first explorer to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to walk on the moon. He did it many years ago. Gorby's going to be so upset. It's okay, Chester. He's going to find out eventually. It's better just to tell him. He'll understand. Ta-da! Who wants to take a picture of me being first on the moon? Me! Uh, uh, <laughs> Huh? Gobby! Lucky! Arriving at the moon. It's kind of hard to miss it, huh? <laughs> Buckle up, Polos. It's time for a moon landing. Now we're here! I'm the first to walk the moon. This is amazing! First to hop on the moon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh! Now I'm the first to fall on the moon. Uh, Gorby, there's something I need to tell you. Whoa, whoa! Ah! Oh, gravity! I forgot. Easy peasy. I know. It takes a little getting used to. But it's fun to be this light and floaty. Yes, the moon's gravity is much lower than Earth's, but that's not what I was going to tell you. In fact, why don't I just show you? A flag? How did it get there? Astronauts planted it when they landed here back in 1969. So they were the first explorers to walk on the moon? Not me? <gasps> this is great! I know, it's... Huh? Great? How? Because it's giving me a great idea! I may not be the first explorer to walk on the moon, but I am the first polo to walk on the moon. And it's my dream come true to be here with all my friends to enjoy it. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> now, who's the highest jumper on the moon? Go! <laughs> Let's see what these things can do. Hold on, guys. I can fix this. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Huh? Ah! Uh, uh, whoa. I think these chairs need a... <gasps> Giant snowball! A giant snowball? Giant snowball! Headed straight for us! Ugh. Hang on, Polos! Whoa, what was that? It was huge! Let's find out. Whoa. Whoa. We're gaining on it! Woohoo! You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Comet's dead! Willow, what do I do? Ah! You've got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it!
bright! Really bright. Not only is it bright, it's really hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. The air in its atmosphere traps the heat. Wonder how Jester's doing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's keeping busy. Looky, looky, looky! Yeah, Nash, that's where we live, Earth. It's so beautiful. My personal favorite. Me too. Me three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you soon, Earth. We're coming up on Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Oh, it's really red. But what's that white stuff? Those are polar ice caps, just like Earth. Hey, Chester. Oh, uh, hi. Where are you guys now? We're just passing Jupiter. It's so big, it's hard to miss. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Did you know that Jupiter is 1,300 times bigger than Earth? Yeah, huge. And it's mostly gas, right? And it has lots of storms, too. There's one that's been going on for over 300 years. Whoa, that's a long time for bad weather. So, Chester, we're making really good time. We'll be there soon. Okay, see you in a bit. <sighs> Look, Nash, Saturn. Wings, pretty wings. Yeah, it has rings. Cool, aren't they? They're made of millions of ice crystals. Some of them are really teeny tiny, no bigger than a speck of dust. And some of them are enormous, big as a house. I'm dancing like nobody's watching, because nobody's watching. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, bibble -bop 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 -bop. Passing planet number seven, Uranus. Rings, rings! Hey, it's got rings too. It's such a weird one, it spins on its side. Not too much farther to Pluto now. Chester must be ready for us to get there. Uh-huh. Yay, Neptune, the last planet in the solar system. How many satellites are in orbit? There are thousands. Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow! So Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look, weather reports. La 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 <laughs> la And, and music. music. So without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain? Wow. Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on. Whoa, wow. There's the problem. Oh, the antenna is bent. It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa, whoa! Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Phew! Okay, now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. Ah! <sighs> <gasps> it's stuck! <sighs> yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa! 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 Oof! Uh, I'm 
Okay, is it working? Corby, Lily, can you hear me? Hi, Polos! It works! Yeah, <laughs> all right! Way to go, Marco! We're happy to see you too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? Prepare for landing. It's okay, Lily. It's not your fault. I didn't want to play with blocks anymore anyway. <laughs> Great flying, Willow. That asteroid really stuck up on us, huh? Well, we won't let that happen again. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroid approaching. Oh! Okay, so an asteroid snuck up on us twice. Definitely not a third time. <gasps> See? <laughs> it's okay, everyone. That bump was just another asteroid hitting ours. <laughs> another one? But I thought all the asteroids were super far apart. They are, but sometimes they cross paths. And wham! They break up into smaller pieces. It's been happening for millions of years. It's just what asteroids do. It is, isn't it? Chester, you're rebuilding your toy? I am. Well, what if it breaks again? Oh, it will for sure. But I won't let it bother me because I like playing with blocks. It's what I do. Me too. be surprised by another asteroid again. So I'm buckling up, just in case. We do, we do. Polos, we are not getting surprised by another asteroid. Uh-oh, Willow, please get us out of here before I say anything else. <laughs> So an asteroid belt isn't what keeps their pants from falling down. <laughs> but maybe asteroid tape will help keep their pieces together. <laughs> Corby, that's really silly. Total battery drain in five minutes. Oh, I never back into trees. I must be tired. It's okay, Willow. When you're low on energy, a nap can help you recharge. Maybe you should have one. I will, Marco, just as soon as we fix our power problem. Audrey, where is the nearest photovoltaic power station? Photovoltaic? Power station, also called solar parks. They're places with lots of solar panels that turn sunlight into lots of electricity. There is a photovoltaic power station a short drive from here. <sighs> Why don't I drive? We're here. Ready to go. Buckle up, Polos. We're off. What's going to happen if we run out of battery power? Nothing too bad. Whew. Whew. Of course, the Polomobile will stop running. It will. And we'll be stranded here by the side of the road. <laughs> stranded away from the beach? No, no. Marco, we are not going to run out of battery power. Warning. 
Battery power nearing zero. Almost there. <sighs> I'm awake. I'm awake. Let's plug in. Quick. Come on, everybody. Run! Run! Power back on. Battery charging. And all thanks to... The sun! So slap on some sunscreen and put on your shades. Here comes the sun, smiling at me. It gives me a charge of energy. It tickles my skin, helps flowers grow. It makes us feel happy, happy. Here comes the sun, the day has begun. Now that the Polomobile's recharging, shh, so is Willa. <sighs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>